KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 9th of October. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather fairly quiet through Friday. We turned much cooler over the weekend. Some rain with that cold front Saturday. What about Sunday and next week? Some uncertainty creeping into the forecast. Let's take a look at things this morning. There's the upper look. The big feature to watch is that intense trough digging down into the northwest United States. That's going to pull down the coldest air so far this season for them and set the stage for a major snowstorm in coming days for parts of the northern states. But around here feels nice. Many spots in the 50s this morning over north Alabama. Decatur and Haleyville, 54. Birmingham at 60. High should be in the low 80s in most spots today. But again, look at the cold air coming down into Montana. There's going to be some remarkable temperature drops for states like North and South Dakota, Wyoming, and Colorado in coming days. Winter storm warnings in effect for parts of Montana, Wyoming, and the Dakotas. Winter storm watches over into northwest Minnesota. And we note a few counties in West Alabama with a dense fog advisory. That fog will dissipate by mid-morning. Maybe some strong storms out across the heartland today. And around here, there could be a few isolated showers, but probably not many. Tomorrow, a risk of severe storms from near Abilene, Texas, up to Des Moines. And on day three, which is Friday, maybe some thunder west of the state, but organized severe weather not expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The west is relatively dry. And what you see up north, a lot of that is going to be in the form of snow. This is coming from uh, the National Forecast Database from the Weather Service. And they're going to be measuring snow in feet up there in many spots instead of inches across parts of the Dakotas. For Alabama, the numbers are coming up. Look at that. We've got rain amounts of about one inch for the next seven days. And that's certainly welcome rain if that happens. Amounts are lighter down to the south. In the tropics, one little uh, impulse out there in the middle of the Atlantic, far from land, a hybrid storm is developing off the east coast of the United States. That thing's going to bring uh, wind and rain to the upper Atlantic coast in coming days, but probably will not get a, a name. It'll be more of a cold core type system, but the Gulf of Mexico is quiet. So let's dive into modeling here. This is the GFS, the 06C run at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Big cold trough in the west. And again, snow will be increasing out there in parts of Montana, Wyoming, and North Dakota. For us, partly sunny, isolated showers at best with a high in the low 80s. This is tomorrow. The big snowstorm continues to increase over the Dakotas and Nebraska. And for us, again, most places dry will creep up toward the mid-80s. Friday, that front gets closer. The bulk of the rain west of the state, we could see a few showers creeping in here Friday night. And this is Saturday. The GFS continues to suggest the showers should be east of the state and most of the day will be dry. But again, this is the European and it's about six to eight hours slower. So we'll mention a chance of showers Saturday out of respect to the European. And that doesn't mean a washout. The main dynamic support way up north, moisture fairly limited. So Saturday, mostly cloudy, much cooler a chance of showers, and uh, we'll probably stay in the 60s all day. In fact, some locations up in the Tennessee Valley could stay in the 50s all day. That'll be a, a different feel to the day. And again, Sunday coming off the uh, GFS, this would be a dry and, and pleasant day. We start the day in the 40s. The high would be in the low 70s. But look at the European solution on Sunday. It brings rain back in here over the northern half of the state with an overrunning kind of thing going. And uh, we're starting to see trends in this direction. So this uh, brings uncertainty now into the forecast for Sunday. This is race weekend at Talladega. And obviously, that's a big impact forecast for our NASCAR friends. And uh, for now, we're going to mention clouds increasing an outside chance of some rain. But understand that forecast could change even more as we get closer to the weekend. So just keep an eye on things. Let's go to Monday, and again, uh, the GFS is looking dry, but on Tuesday, the model indicates rain across the state, 
And I, guess, I think we'll mention some risk of rain Monday, but a pretty good chance of rain statewide on Tuesday. And then a week from today, that trough is moving on to the east, and the rain is mostly east of the state. So there could very well be some rain, maybe some beneficial rain, Sunday through Tuesday of next week. Not necessarily all three days, but on maybe a couple of them. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 18th. Little ridge axis off to the west. That would be dry if this verifies. Check the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Look at some of the members. The outliers are over five inches for the next 15 days. The mean, it's about two and a half inches. And that's, again, very good rain for October. And temperatures, 80s for the rest of this week, 70s for the weekend. Again, after that, temperatures look fairly seasonal for October. Very pleasant. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.